Hey guys, welcome back to I've Always Liked Tall Women. Hear me, Frozen Breeze, with Tall Woman. D see, she was embarrassed. Anyway, last time we finished up the final boss of Pokemon Legends Arceus. And uh, I forgot to change everybody's names, so we're just going to come up with some fucking names. Um, I, I know what I got to call it. I got to reference my Pokemon uh, Emerald playthrough by calling her what she needs to be called. There you go. Let's see. I don't know what to call this one. Hmm. Is there any bunnies I know? How about just that? Actually, I got a great name. <laughs> no. Don't worry. I've always got you fucking handled. Uh. I don't know what to call him. Uh, you know, I got a great name. Bride. Because the Princess Bride, you know? Which is what Roserade is based off of, in a way. Luxray. Uh, it's... No, I don't want to do that. Uh... No, fucking stop that. Y you suck. No, I keep doing it. I'm trying to change your name. Not change your soul. Um... I don't fucking know. Shitty name. Like, fucking... Luxie. There you go. And I won't change their names because they're legendary Pokemon. Also, I... Yeah, I'm just gonna kick out anti verlicify for now. Let us go talk to Captain CL and see what the fuck she wants with me. <laughs> Excuse me. So, I entrusted you enjoyed yourself at the festival? I don't think so. Let's see. I'm exhausted. <clears throat> Indeed. The only... That only seems natural, given the crowd. I believe last night was the first time I ever caught a glimpse of you making merry, Captain. I believe you must be imagining things. Now, Professor Lavinson, to business. What is the current state of the, uh, Pokedex? I dare say we might- we've made quite significant progress, all in all. Though we could put- we could afford to put a little more effort into our research tasks. And of course, it's hard to know how far <laughs> how far to go in pursuit of some reports. Certain Pokemon have only been mentioned in Hisu's legends, after all. Who knows if they are even real? With how little we know about Hisu's history and legends, it seems a tall order for us to tackle. Pardon, couldn't help but over here. Oh yes, the myth maker himself. If it's <laughs> if it's Hisu and history and legends you want, then I'm your man. Why are you my stalker, Volo? Come on, calm down. <laughs> Why, I've spent plenty of time studying such things of... <clears throat> I mean, while also tirelessly doing my work for the Ginkgo Guild. And I've visited many of the ruins and whatnot here in Hisu region already. I imagine I could teach you a thing or two about any Pokemon of legend in these parts. Oh, music to my ears, my good fellow. Listen well, Frozen. You are to learn all you can from the Merchant Volo, and work together as needed, for the sake of the Pokedex. Meanwhile, we will continue to gather intelligence on Pokemon by other means. By looking at them, I guess? <laughs> Understood. I'll set up at the Heights Camp then, Frozen. I'll be expecting you. The Researcher of Myths. So I guess the post-game is just searching for legendary Pokemon. <laughs> Besides, I have something I'd like to discuss with you too. So I hope you won't keep me waiting. Let's go see him. I don't have much else to do. But yeah, I guess... I'm guessing the post-game has a lot to do about just catching the rest of the legendaries, like Heatran, uh, Spirit Tomb, Cresselia, Darkrai, the fucking Lake Trio. Who else do I not remember? Did I name all of them? I mean, Spirit Tomb's not really a legendary, but it's a hard Pokemon to get. I think I named all of them. Shaman! I love Shaman. I just forgot her name. <laughs> it looks like Sonic the Hedgehog. Whoa, I gotta go fast. I'm really small, and I use grass now. Whoa. And then I can turn into a dog. <laughs> he just, they turned to dog. All right, where are you? Oh, I went to the wrong camp. I never go to the right camp, do I? All right, I'm getting over there, Volo. Just give me a second. There you are. What the fuck is up with that wall? Is this the, the, oh, it's the same thing as the other thing. Frozen, there you are. Have a look here, if you will. A good, long, close look, please. See these patterns modeled after Pokemon? I've come to think that they might be letters, rather than hier hieroglyphs, if you will. Hieroglyphs. 
I've inspected ruins across the region, and I've concluded that they all tell seem to tell the same tale. Oh, and Reggie Gigas, I forgot about that one. The tale of a brave soul who, together with the Pokemon at his side, went on a journey to search for the fragments of an all-encompassing deity, which is uh, our boy Arceus, all-encompassing. <clears throat> yes, all-encompassing deity, the creator of this very universe, and its name is... Arceus. Perhaps you've already heard this name. Let's see. It does sound familiar, because I talked to him. Of course. Who else could I have expected from the hero who saved the Rahisu region? But now, let's discuss the fragments. They must surely be the plates. Yes, the very plates you collected as you went about quelling all those frenzied nobles. Haven't you noticed that they all have words carved on their backs? Go on, give them a read. You can read the text engraved on the back of the first plate you obtained. The original one breathed alone before the universe came. This original one is none other than the Pokemon known as Arceus. So what do you say, Frozen? I think we should try to gather all the plates. I mean, I have most of them. I'm still missing four of them, though. I've just got the idea where to start our search. Come join me at the heart of the grueling grove. Kit. Otherwise known as Kit. Because <laughs> we're missing, like, the dragon one as well. Damn, that's a pretty far thing to go. We haven't even gone to that area yet. Let's see. Let us use the power of Braviary. Am I going the right direction? It's that way. Don't worry, we'll get there at some point. Yeah, I guess the mission is to obtain Arceus. Which is kind of what Arceus... <laughs> I wonder if Arceus thinks like, oh, obtain all Pokemon. And then it goes like, but you're a Pokemon. It's like, wait, what? And it's like, I gotta obtain you. And he's like, shoot. <laughs> shoot, I didn't think about that one. Well, uh, d d don't catch me. No, you told me to do this. <laughs> He's like, please. I have so much I wanted to do. I want to go golfing tomorrow. <laughs> he just gets caught. It's like, that's funny. My funny, stupid jokes. I mean, we should really try and catch all of the lake Pokemon. So they're the ones we know the locations of. Oh, well. All right, I'm here. <clears throat> now frozen. According to my own investigations. Vespaquin? What? An alpha Vespaquin? Terribly sorry, Frozen, but do you think you could handle this? Well, you know, that's the only thing I ever do. It's the only thing I ever do. I need to catch a Vespa Quinn anyway. Go, Kawakami. My lord. Fuck off with your wild might. God damn it, fuck you. God damn it, fuck you. Please? Ah. I don't have fucking hip hypnotize. <laughs> Oh boy. Uh, what could I hit it with that won't kill it? Probably, I need something that's just like not effective. Yeah, energy ball would probably be good. Hit it with a strong energy ball. And we'll try and catch Vespaquin. Let's see. Go for a regular energy ball. See how much damage that does by itself. Yeah, we definitely need to put in a strong one. Put in a strong energy ball. Didn't do that much change in damage. What you going for? Air Slash. Damn. Well, I forget that you are a flying type, partially. I don't know why this Vespaquin is here, but okay. Uh, how about you... No. <laughs> I'm like, no, that's probably a bad idea. Throwing in one of my legendaries at it would probably kill it in one hit. It's so good. Whoa, Cool Cat's gonna kill you. Cool Cat, murder time. I swear they should have called this thing Cool Cat. Cool Cat likes to rock and roll. Cool Cat likes murder. Let's see. Yeah, we kind of need to do it at a weak power level as to uh, not kill it. We're here to catch it, not kill it. You got Earth Power or something stupid like that? Bug Buzz. Bug Buzz, my favorite Earthbound character. Keep Bug Buzz. No, Bug Buzz. <laughs> I don't know. Please, please don't, don't even think about what I'm saying. If you, if you try to think about what I'm saying for a single second, you're probably gonna hurt your brain, <laughs> and you're gonna be like, what, what, what are you saying? Why, why are you so stupid? It's like I just am. You just need to realize that I am extremely dumb. <laughs> Okay, so we got some things. Gardevoir is just dying all the time, so she just turns out to always be stuck at level 43. 
off the grind and such, you obtain the stone plate. Okay, that was a bug type Pokemon, not that. Why did that alpha Pokemon have the plate that we were looking for? Maybe it was just happened to find the plate laying around. In any case, that's the only other plate I had any information on, so that's that. <laughs> and yet, nothing seems to be happening, which makes me suspect there must still be more plates left out there for us to find. Well, duh. Not to worry, though. I know the perfect person to ask. She's bound to know where all the plates are. Mistress Kogita. The one and only Mistress Kogita, yes. You haven't had the chance to properly thank her for obtaining the red chain, am I right? All the more reason to pay her a visit. So onwards to the ancient retreat. Okay. What even is this area? This area doesn't seem to have anything. It's just, uh... It's just a little island. My own little island that I can sit at where there's no Pokemon. Because the Pokemon hate me. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to have to capture the lake trio. And you got to have to wonder, how the hell do all of them just, like, you know, get out of their Pokeballs by the time I die here in Hisu so that they'll end up in their proper places during Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. Diamond, Pearl, or Platinum. And where the fuck is Giratina? He, he counts as part of the creation trio. He created Antimatter for some reason. <laughs> for some reason, he created Antimatter. But yeah... Yeah. Last time I looked at, like, uh, uh, Dialga's, like, origin form, it's pretty fucking cool. It looks a lot cooler than, uh, Palkia, but you'll, you'll see what it looks like. So what do you like to do now? I'd like to go home. I don't even want to talk to you, Laventon, ever since you fucking put all those Pokemon in cages. Because <laughs> you were bored. You put Oshawa into a fish tank where he can't even breathe. <laughs> Alright, let's go see. Because we're still missing, like, the Fairy Plate, the, uh, Dragon Plate, the Dark Plate, and, uh... Let's see. We've got the Mine Plate, Earth Plate, Icicle Plate, Stone Plate, Sky Plate. I think we're just missing, like, Dark? Is this Ghost? Yeah. No, it's not. So we're missing Ghost, Dark. Ghost, Dark, uh... Let me say it again. Ghost, Dark, Dragon, Fairy. So, we're still missing four more plates to try and get. So, what the fuck are we going to be doing? Just beating up random Pokemon until we get it? It's like, you will be mine. Your soul is mine. Hey, how you doing? Oh, lost one. It's miraculous what you've done. It seems that the red chain served its purpose well. And you carried out your duty as you were, as you were bid. But what brings you here... Have you have you yet need of me? Let's see, it's about Arceus. Ah, yes, a tale whose origin lie in, lie a millennium or two ago. Those were the days of the ancient Sinnoh people, from whom I am descended across many generations. Those four, these forebears of mine worshipped Arceus as the Pokemon that created the Hisu region, and I have heard of certain fragments, plates as they are called that were given to the ancestors of Pokemon, such as Cleavor and Weirdeer. Is that all? I thought you surely could tell us more about Arceus and the plates. I'm afraid I have nothing new to tell you. Why the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan would never have confused Dialga and Palkia with, with the creator Arceus had anything concrete been passed down. If only the we had more to go on. The answers to these mysteries may even shed light on why Frozen here from fell from the sky. Aha, uh -huh. I see what, what you intend. Very well, I'll help you as best as I can. There are still some tremendous Pokemon in Hisu, other mysteries to be solved. Whether they are connected to Arceus, I cannot say for certain. But searching them out, perhaps you'll stumble across the path you seek. Let me think. There are Pokemon of the Lakes, of course, and the Temple Giant, the Crescent Moon, the Volcano. Perhaps you may even return to the very beginning. And now then, what what would you hear of? Let's see, how about, let's see. So the Lake Trio is the Lake Trio. The Volcano is Heatran, the Crescent Moon is uh, Cresselia, Temple Giant is Regigigas, and the beginning is most likely Darkrai, because you know he's meant to represent the new moon. So let's go get Darkrai. Indeed, a beginning for you, certainly. Where was it where you first fell to Earth here? Well, that was not what it was talking about, but okay. Now then, what would you hear of? The Lake Trio. Ah, yes. 
them, you already know. Go give them th your thanks for the red chain and show them how strong you've become. Otherwise known as, I guess, catch them. Let's see. The volcano! Well, where could where could that be but Fire Spit Island? Okay. But we already have the fire one. What the fuck you want from that? Crescent moon. Ah, uh, yes, the moon. You must go where you meet the moon's gaze unobstructed. Does that clue illuminate your path? Well, make for Ca Coronet Highlands for now. So go to Spear Pillar? I don't know. The Temple Giant. Snow Point Temple. The secret that lurks in Snow Point Temple. To find it, you must open the door that is sealed. Now then, what would you have heard of? Never mind, we got them all. Does that done with your questions, are you? Yes. Very well, lost one. The rest depends on you and your efforts. It appears that the opening of the space-time rift compel compelled Pokemon that might otherwise stay hidden to come out and see what has befallen the world. I hope you succeed, for your own sake and for that Poke Pokedex you labor on. Yep, I've got a lot of job to do. I knew we could rely on you, Mistress Kogita. That's more than enough information to work with for now. Now let's go find those plates. So, uh, where should we go? I don't know. I guess it's going to force us to go in order of whatever the fuck it wants to go in. Uh, I don't even know. <laughs> it's just as I had suspected. Pokemon are the key to our search, Frozen. If we can gather all the plates from them and decipher the messages on the backs of the plates at last, perhaps we can meet Arceus itself. That's kind of my job. You should go search for that Pokemon that Kogita mentioned, Frozen. I have my own avenues of research I'd like to pursue. Arceus, creator of all Hisu. I truly cannot wait to, to see what kind of Pokemon it might be. It looks like a giant white horse. All I gotta say, it looks like a giant white horse. It looks like a dumb giant white horse that I always love to look at. So interesting that the creator, god of the Pokemon universe is a, such a skinny horse, but that's because everything is like removed from it. It's just like the corpse of the original one. Hey. I had a mistress from Kog from Mistress Kogita. I'm told you're collecting the plates of some sort of some sort with M Merchant Volo. Then we must go to Prelude Beach. Meet me there. Well, yeah, that's where I was going to go first anyway. So, you got me there. You got me there. Oh, there's my there's my fucking Zoroark. Hey, dude. See you around. I wish you could jump in there and look at my Pokemon. There's my Alpha Eevee. Everybody's looking at my Pokemon. They're like, I love Pokemon now. Pokemon is so cool now. You know, it's been a while since we actually went back to the beach. The place where we fell. Hopefully we can find a new mechanical pencil. I don't know. <laughs> we can find a new object. Maybe we can catch the rest of our Pokemon. Like, I'd love to get that Rowlet and that fucking uh, Oshawott. Because I don't know how you would breed Pokemon and then trade them over to me. Like, you would just have to trade them over, and that's it. Because I don't know if the daycare even exists yet. Or maybe there was, like, a request for the daycare. Like, you could unlock, but I've just never done it. Ah, uh, yes. Oh. Yay. More spirit tomb stuff. How many are left here? There are five wisps in the area. I guess we're going to have to look around for those. One day I just need to start wandering around looking for them. All right, Komodo, what the fuck are you doing? You want another battle? Prelude Beach, indeed a place of beginning. Now is not the time for words. Face me in battle. Sure. Kicked your ass once, now I have two legendary Pokemon, so I think this is gonna be kinda, eh. He's got five Pokemon now, so he's pretty much got a full team. So this is gonna be a, a hell of a battle, I'll tell you. Golem. As long as I get the first turn, I think we'll be okay. Give me the first turn. Yay. Okay, so... Hmm. Nah, let's just go for Aura Sphere. Just make it happen. I know this isn't the best Pokemon to use against it, but it's just kind of what I got. Also, you be using full restores now? Damn. Now we've really entered into the post-game, where Pokemon start getting dickish. Ah, fuck you. You're gonna kill her. Eh, uh, she hung on. Fuck you! How do you get two turns? <laughs> you bitch! Alright, you know who's coming out next. <laughs> you know who's coming out to destroy you. 
go bride. <laughs> the princess bride, to be exact. Knock his ass out. Oh, I've been so stuffed up lately. I don't know why. Aqua Fable. You know, that's pretty good, because I don't know why you did that. Because this thing is part poison type, which is good against those things. You got a fire type attack? You got a psychic type attack? Ah, oh, you do! Planning, planning, planning. You're a planning man. What can I say? Do we have anything else that would help affect that? Let's see. Uh, okay. <laughs> I forgot that steel type attacks do have one strength nowadays. It's good against fairy types. So... Uh, I'm fine with flash cannon over that because it's just more accurate. Now you face a god, my friend. He's like, shit, what do I do now? He's like, okay, fighting type, go. You got a close combat in there? Like, what the f That was fucking dumb. That was fucking dumb. There you go. Now you're acting smarter. You almost got god on that move. Don't worry, we're just gonna go all out with a... <laughs> with a roar of time. There you go. At least he knocked out two Pokemon in his reign of destruction. He is fucking... He's gonna die next turn because of Roar of Time. Ah, shit, you got your Snorlax back. High horsepower. Such a strange name. Okay, so at this point, we are definitely running out of Pokemon. Uh, we're gonna have to do, like, a, a strong close combat to knock him out. See, I could actually just... Because we got two in a row. I don't care. Turn me into a glass cannon. <laughs> Alright, so now it's all left down to his last Pokemon. Which, I don't... I don't think it's one of his new ones, isn't it? Show me what you got. No, it's just that Braviary again. I kind of forgot that he had one. What you got? What you got? You're gonna knock me out? Esper Wing. Yeah, that's definitely gonna hurt. We actually survived. Even with a crit. Even with a crit, we survived. And we had our defense lowered. Alright, so you know who's coming out next. Luxy. I don't even need to pull out Palkia. I mean, I might. You can knock him out in one move. Alright, hit him hard. Hit him with your penis. Your big weird penis. Go! Ah, shit. He survived on one health. Damn. Well, you ain't gonna survive much longer. I'm gonna pull out the other thing. <laughs> Go, Palkia! Gee, fuck, I made a weird thing. I made a weird motion. Let's see. Let's see. This will give him 100% accuracy, so it will just hit anyway. I just want to hit, man. Aqua Tail! And that's the end of Braviary. I don't know how he survived on one hit. Maybe he has Sturdy as his ability. That'd be interesting. Turns out, you're not as good as God. Even frightful creatures like Pokemon can become powerful allies. Yeah. <laughs> Only Palkia decided to survive that one. Don't worry, once I get Arceus, you're fucked, but I need the Azure Flute, which is like what you you or what you were supposed to have used in Diamond and Pearl, because that they didn't do that in America. <laughs> you've grown you've grown even stronger since we faced one another on Mount Coronet. It's clear you do not view Pokemon as dangerous enemies, but rather as trustworthy allies. Allies with whom you can reach great heights. You know, I think we might also be this, missing the steel plate. Maybe he'll give us the steel plate. Perhaps you are a divine being yourself, sent, for, sent to bring us gifts from above. Here, you should have this. Let me guess, he gives us the steel plate. Oh, the fighting plate. There's just so many types, it's hard to remember. I would think he would give us the steel plate, but I don't know. He's wearing steel armor. <sighs> when the very first... <laughs> When the very first of our Galaxy Expedition team, myself, Benny, and the others, set foot on Prelude Beach, we found that plate. It clearly held some kind of power, so I kept it safe all this time. I find it fitting that it should now end with you, who likewise arrived here on this same beach. Perhaps something is guiding us. Indeed, it must be so. You and I, Adaman, Aridia, it appeared that we'd all be guided by the one called Almighty Sinnoh. It might be more appropriate to call this region the Sinnoh region. Aww. Aww. <laughs> uh, origins. 
the Sinnoh region. I know I have no right to say this, but we are truly fortunate to have been able to count you among the Survey Corps ranks. If you had not joined us, we would have fallen on Mount Coronet. We would have lost our home. We would have lost our future. You would have lost your entire world, bud. Now then, carry on with your survey work. The knowledge of that you collect about the wild Pokemon in this region will serve to illuminate our path forward as we walk into the future. Well, I guess... I guess we learned who created the name of the Sinnoh region. It was fucking, uh... It was Kamado. Based on Kogita's hints, there seems to be about four more plates left for you to find. So now that that knocks that off... Do we even have the steel plate? No, we don't. Maybe it is steel. Was it steel, dragon, dark? No, we're still missing the ghost plate. It feels like we're missing some. Maybe there is no such thing on fairy plate. And there just wasn't one made. Like, I know fairy was an added one later, so if we remove fairy, then there was dragon, uh, steel, dark, and ghost. So if those are the four that need to be gotten, then yeah, that's what that is. But there, I think there is a fairy plate. So I don't know. Who knows? So who should we go after next? And definitely not the lake trio. I don't want to try and go after them. Because they're, they're Pokemon we've already seen before. Let's go after... Uh, hmm. Hmm. Let's go to the Moonview Arena. I feel that would be pretty cool. Let me just... Do I have the things to even create some more Ultra Balls? Because I don't have a single Ultra Ball. Man, everybody else here doesn't really have Pokemon, do they? <laughs> I, mean, I think I think the reason they're asking for requests is because they want Pokemon. We want your Pokemon. Can you poke my man? Let's see, what you gotta ask about? <laughs> you there. You seem like somebody who enjoys a bit of crafting. Do you think you could help me out with something? I'd be very, very grateful if you try to craft something using a special recipe I came up with. Okay. So, without further ado, here's the recipe. What is it for? Penis? You obtain for Pokishi dolls? Hmm. Are these like Pokemon dolls from later games? This is the recipe I have named Pokishi dolls. I invented them, you see? As special items that we could use, we could make in this village, I would like, I would love if you could craft one and show it to me. I'm looking forward to seeing what you could come up with. Okay, then. Okay, then. Uh, how do you make them? You need wood. We only have two wood, so we need three wood. Anyway, how do we make Ultra Balls? I don't think we even can. Yeah, I was hoping that we could actually make Ultra Balls. Let's see. I think maybe the shop has something about, like, Ultra Balls, maybe? I mean, at least Volo did. Let's see. Oh, you're the clothing store. I forgot about that. You look like the Frontier Brain, and then you look like the, uh, the Team Galactic Scientist. Yeah, you don't have anything, do you? At least because I haven't even upgraded their existence. Great deals, great deals. Rare wear. Rare wear? Holy shit. Yeah, you guys don't even have anything. I can't even make Ultra Balls. I guess... I guess we have to rank up, uh, the fucking ranks again to probably try and get a new crafting recipe for that. Let's go to Coronet Highlands. Let's go to the Summit Camp, which I think is where Moonview Arena is. So, hopefully we can catch Cresselia. Which is who I think we're going to see. Maybe we might encounter uh, Darkrai as well, since they're both linked together, like, really, really closely. Alright, let's go see if this shit's going on. What the hell? Kabbalah and Melly are here? Okay. I don't suppose a grunt like you would even know, but I guess it behooves me to ask. Do you know the Pokemon named Cresselia? See, I do. Well, I figured you'd know. I wouldn't expect any less from someone who managed to defeat me, even if it was just a fluke. I could beat your ass again. Cresselia is said to be the embodiment of the Crescent Moon. Her feathers are known as Lunar Feathers, and the legend says if you hold one as you fall asleep, you'll be visited with wondrous dreams. Well, I call her a nightmare, that pesky Cresselia. She descended upon Moonview Arena and caused my lord to hide itself away. I'm so worried about Electro that I can't even sleep, never mind dream. Dream? I hate that YouTuber. Think you could be able to catch Cresselia and perhaps even claim one of those lunar feathers? Yeah, I can do it. 
Do, do, oh, do catch that pesky flying croissant. Holy, sh holy shit, he gives it hard. <laughs> do it for my poor electrode. I suppose, though I suppose Cresselia can't be all bad. If she at least recognizes the perfection of this arena, looked after with a loving care by the great Melly. Okay, I can do it. But do I have to fight her in noble mode? I mean, they have all those bombs, but it seems to reason that that's how it worked. Luna. Where are you at? What the balls? Okay. How you doing? Wanna play Pokemon? You're level 40? You're level 70 more like it. I can't even catch you. How you doing? You wanna play Pokemon? Want me to throw a snowball at you? I gotcha. You, you fuck you. I got the power of this. I can't even catch you. You're too high leveled. Moonblast. Well, you did some damage. Anyway, let's get out that. Please work. Didn't work. Well, she's just gonna kill you now. Anyway. She is pretty high leveled. I wouldn't think that you'd be able to catch her. But, you know, we'll, we'll see. Let's just go in for, like, crunch. Like a, a very low-powered crunch. Let's see. Alright. And we'll start trying to throw Pokeballs at it and see what happens. Yep. You can use Psychic. It won't help you. I am much better. Let's see. Could I just do a regular crunch? It seems to do, like, basic damage anyway. Okay. Well, keep hitting me. Let's see, do I have anything else that would actually be strong against Cresselia? Um... Mm, no, no, nobody. We just have, like, basic damage. Uh, let's just do, like, Water Pulse or something. I wish Water Pulse would actually confuse the enemy. It doesn't ever really seem to do that, does it? Never misses. I guess I'd never miss. Get her Lola. I think, I hope you guys would get that reference. I think most people who's been around the internet for long enough knows what that means. Lunar Blessing. Ah, shit. Here we go again. Uh, what else do we do? Um, let's go for Play Rough. She's obscured the move missed. She's fucking a disaster. She's, she's a literal disaster coming in. All right, do strong water pulse then. Ah, it's just not enough. It is not enough. Uh, will I even be able to catch this thing? <laughs> this thing is tough. Um, Dialga, you get out here and do some shit. Vladimir is playing fucking Smash Brothers, not Vladimir. Vladimir Putin is here to suck you. All right, go. Don't kill it, good boy. You can try. You will try. Okay, let's try throwing Ultra Balls. It's going to be pretty tough to catch this thing. I don't even know if I can catch this thing. Knowing that my star ranking isn't even high enough because it's red. I have a feeling it's because of my lack of star level that we can't properly do anything. Just go for another Flash Cannon and see what happens. Don't you dare kill it. Good boy. Ah, fuck you. I'll hit you again, you fucker. Hit him. It kind of just shows up behind his head. Fuck you again. Otherwise known as fuck you again. Oh, Lord. This battle's going to be a fucking pain, isn't it? It's just going to keep using, like, fucking this double team bullshit. Just like, double team, double team, double team. It's like, fuck you. All right, I guess I'll just throw another Pokeball at it. Who knows how long this is gonna fucking take. I might wanna use one of those Max Revives to revive back Gardevoir to try and see if we can use it again. Nope, not good. Grew Enraged. I'm gonna Grew Enraged. Mm -hmm. 
Kill off Dialga. Like, I just don't think it's, like, possible unless I'm at the right, like, you know, Starla ranking. Okay. Um, let's use this to, like, revive Kawakami in order to try and, like, do that shit. Try and use Hypnotize on it. He's gonna do a lot of damage. He can do it. This is no longer obscured. What else can we do? I guess just spatial rend. Ah, it does, barely does any damage. Alright, let's see if we can hypnotize it. Let's see if hypnotization will help us in our battle. Okay. Kawakami. Kawakami. That is not what I want to do. Alright. Strong. Go. Yeah, it worked this time. Hopefully you get so tired that you just don't care. Too drowsy to move. Okay, let's see. Let's go in for like... Maybe a... Just go in for a regular charge beam. Not do a ton of damage. Ooh, offensive stats raised. Okay, another charge beam. Alright. Could you be quiet both those times? Please. At least it's not doing Lunar Blessing. Alright, here's the last time we've got to actually try and catch it. It's pretty low, and, well, it doesn't have, like, a ton of power. And it's has, like, it's been hypnotized. So this is about, like, the only chance I got. So go! Do it! If it doesn't work, then I'll know, like, we've just, we're not at the right rank. Because of our rank, we can't catch it. Ruin Rage. Can you still be tired? Yep, still too drowsy to move. You ain't gonna be fighting nobody. You're gonna be trying to catch this thing. I just have a feeling that it's just not gonna work. Oh! It works! So it doesn't matter about your star ranking. You can still catch things that are higher than your star ranking. Well, that's cool. Well, that's cool. We got the Dread Plate. Alright. I don't know why she dropped that. Probably because Darkrai. Well, well, this is unexpected. Instead of a Lunar Feather, you got some sort of plate. I do feel power emanating from it, though. In any case, if Cresselia did not gift us with any of her feathers, I, then I suppose she had thought no need for them. Well, don't worry. I can pluck it off her body, because now I have her. Not, not bad at all, Grunt. Or gunt. <laughs> Though I suppose that anyone with anyone with anyone with enough luck to best the great Le Melly Lelly, it's me Lelly, <laughs> should be able to handle at least that much. Thinking about it, a halfway competent person like you might actually make a decent sparring partner to help my lord and I grow still. I will go back to the settlement and tell the others about the feathers that we didn't get. <laughs> cool. Very cool. Alright, there's three more plates to grab, but that's probably going to be the end of this episode. So, we were able to get a plate from, well, a random Vespaquin, uh, from Komodo, and then I got one from Cresselia, who apparently had the dark plate for some reason, so. Next time, we're going to go to Snowpoint Temple, the Three Lakes, and the Volcano. So, I'll see you guys next time.